Good afternoon, world, or rainy afternoon, that is. Welcome to another exciting episode of Extreme Is Out of Whips. Even though it's raining outside, the show must go on. And without all further ado, trying to get a nice cold start. Well, I can't even say cold start because I already started the car. But it's already like a warm start on the Nissan 350Z Super Veloce. But I got choice, so I gotta dump this. Yep. Gotta dump this. Okay, now we are off on our adventure. I'm leaving in like kinda late though. Been trying to get these Paganis for a while. But um let's see what I could do. And I gotta get 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 to get in. I don't gotta stop for gas. I don't gotta do anything. I could just go. Alright. Seatbelt. Alright. Wow, the rain has stopped, so it should be smooth sailing. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's get this show on the road, baby. Hey oh and away we go. The roads are so bumpy though. See y'all in a couple of seconds. Two hours later. All right, we finally made it, yo. My time is like super duper limited, though. Happy that it stopped raining out here. Yeah, car is a mess. So let's just hurry up and get out there. We're trying to look at Pagani's, and I wonder, I wonder if I could check out the FS90. If they still have it here. Yeah, so it's just finally getting here. And um, that is just pretty much about it, though. So my time is like super limited, so. I'm trying to debase it. I should even try to even go into Pagani or should I just try to go into Ferrari since it's like walking distance and it's not close. And it looked like the Paganis are back though, but I don't think they letting anybody in there. I mean, I'll do a quick walk by, but let's just um go into Ferrari and um see what they got there. I've been walking past them. Always oh, dissing them. Not mainly dissing them, but it's the clamor been half of my stuff, yo. I can't help it. I definitely cannot help it, yo. I, I can't help it. But all right, let's go into Ferrari real quick and see what they got. And see if the FS90 is there. Hi, welcome to the world of Ferraris. So we're gonna start off with this class of one here. I don't even know the name of this one. Wait, wait. It's not even a Ferrari though, this is actually the Cobra. Wow. Check out the exhaust pipes on the side. I thought I would only see this in video games and now I see it here. Yeah, this Cobra is like in the most perfect condition. Wow, look at that real view now. It's, it's actually in the center, it's not even up there. That's a good spot to mount it, I guess. That mirror ain't going nowhere. And then you got the little mirrors on the side. Man, these tires are crazy thick. Man, wider than my Z tires too. And then I'm not sure y'all are familiar with this Ferrari. And then we seen this at the Dream Ride Experience and now they got one here. This leather is like a handbag leather. That's the description that I could give it though. Uh, I didn't think I would see you again. And we got the racing harness here. I said the Monza Spa 2. Not sure if I'm saying it correctly though. No windshield at all or anything. Wow. I didn't think I would see this again. Yeah, time is like super, super short because I got here like massive late, like OD late. So sorry if I'm like kind of rushing through everything though, but trying to show y'all everything as quickly as fast, but also getting all right camera ang angles as the best as um, I can pretty much get them. And um, finally, for a long wait, um, we finally get a chance to check this battle out. One of the main cars we're here and we was trying to see yellow. 
I would definitely would like the FS90 in blue, but let me show you what it is that I'm looking at. All right, guys, now the moment that I've been waiting for, moment that I've been waiting for myself, actually. All right, so this is the FS90, though. So crazy fact, though, this car has more power than this car. I forgot the actual specs as far as like how much power this thing is packing though but this is not even a limited production though and then this one is but this has more power than the la ferrari i mean it's crazy the design language is a little bit similar though as far as the way how they got the top but you see like a lot of car things loaded up here. This is just like a black finish though. Still a nice though, but let's check out the interior. Now this is crazy though. I think we'll actually see one this soon. Definitely prefer this in blue, but man, this is, this is nice. Damn, the exhaust. First time I've ever seen the exhaust this hot on any of the Ferrari cars right here. Oh, this is crazy, what? And the rear diffuser, they could like the rear diffuser on the FS90 more than the La Ferrari though. And I guess the way how they got this though, the end is all the way down here, then you got this little window here. So the visibility may be a little bit better in this car, I'm not sure. Unless she was actually inside it, then you can look over your shoulder. But it looked like that window is... Nah, that's pretty cool, though. Because then you could look through it. And, like, in both spots, though. Because you have the top. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, the visibility in here is not that bad at all. You got the top window and the bottom. It's just that uh, there's, like, a slight blind spot like right here along like this pillar right here but uh, but this is pretty cool though and the engine is like all the way sunken down it says all the way down there and then you got the massive v12 within the la ferrari right here and let's check out the visibility if you look at it through the front Yeah, they're almost just about the same, but it may be as though like you have more visibility in this as far as looking straight back. I don't know, but I think you would have to be actually in it. Man, but these cars are sick though. I guess the most powered, to, like to the most power, my, my correction for all that they got up in here. This is crazy. I didn't think I would see both of them side by side, but it would make sense to park them side by side. And this is where the electric hybrid power motors are getting their power from. And this is the charging kit down here. I think McLaren has like the biggest one out of the battery packs. Well, the P1 actually. And, and this is the charging kit from the S the FS90. All right, so hey, here's the ultimate question. Y'all probably already knew that I was gonna ask this though. So if y'all had a chance to take out of the FS90 or the La Ferrari, I mean, forget about the specs. I mean, y'all know, probably know a little bit more than I do. I know a little bit comes to Ferraris. Um, but which one would you choose though? Would it be the La Ferrari? Or would it be the FS90? You know, like this. Write it in the comment section below. Don't be afraid. Like I said, like there's no right and there's no wrong answer to this question though. But for me, uh, I don't know. I think I probably would just take the La Ferrari though. The fact that it's just insane. The looks is, is crazy and this is crazy. Not even because of um, you know, the rarity of it. It's just. The design is just out of this world. So that would be my decision. But like I said, just write in the comments below. Don't be afraid. 
all right i finally got a chance finally finally something went exactly the way how i wanted to go i mean the week before last one was good too but i ain't trying to really stay up here in this rain so we are about to go back inside the car and we got what we came from but not one but then two and then it's crazy that two of the hyper cars will park side by side next to each other and that was good, good enough for me for today like there's more car events coming sorry that i missed the pagani the gatherings of the blue paganis and um it's fine so other than that before i dip off like comment and subscribe and keep those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat and i would definitely would catch y'all in the next one and like i said more content coming your way more cars coming your way like i said everything coming your way but until then till next time and we out